Hey everyone, it's Sunny. This is gonna be a first impressions video for the Chanel Le Beige All-in-One Healthy Glow Fluid. I literally just bought it like a couple of hours ago. I don't have anything, I just have a little bit of eye makeup, but even that's minimal for me. I don't have anything on my skin apart from my Clinique uh, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And so I am going to go through, I'll tell you what the product is about and I will test it out. I'll use it for the first time and tell you my first impressions. Now, I was between buying this product and the Guerlain, uh, in the terracotta line they have a very similar product out it's called terracotta jolie tint or jolie min or something like that basically beautiful skin um and so i went to sephora and swatched them both and the thing that swung it for le beige is well i obviously love chanel le beige line but also the guerlain one was a little bit too pink for my skin and also um it had the same smell that their terracotta line has the same scent and I'm kind of over it, I don't like it anymore. So um, so I got this one, and this is the one I really wanted. And this is, uh, there's 30 milliliters, one ounce in it, which is the normal size, but actually when you take it out of the box, I just thought, oh wow, that's really small. That can't possibly be the normal foundation size, but it is, but it just looks tiny. And it has an SPF of 15, which is not much, but it is SPF 15, PA++, which is the highest rating SPF um, for UVAs, so that is great. It has tons of good stuff. I'll read you a kind of a quick thing from their website. So on the Selfridge site, it has six shades. Weirdly enough, on the actual Chanel site, it only has two. I have no idea why. Um, because it definitely, there's a lot more than that. Maybe they're only stocking two on the website. But I, uh, I think there was six shades in Sephora as well. I chose uh, 20 and I am an uh, NC25 and that seemed to match my skin tone the best. 10 is the kind of lightest and the darkest is 60. Well, at least on the Selfridges website. So I'm not 100% sure about that because that's a little bit weird. There's discrepancies between the websites. And on the Chanel site, this says, um, this all-in-one product is a complete, even toning, moisturizing, protective and soothing step that instantly lights up the complexion. And uh, I think, um, because in here I had a quick look, I'm not going to read this tiny little booklet to you right now. Uh, it did say use on top of your normal skincare, so that's why I already have my moisturizer on. Um, this is not a CC cream or a BB cream and a teen moisturizer. I'm expecting something different, but... I don't exactly know what I'm expecting, so I'm excited to find out. The first time, I always use a foundation or a tinted moisturizer with my fingers because I want to get a feel for it. So, well, as you can see, I have not used it yet. So I'm just going to uncap it now. This is very exciting. And we'll get a little bit out on my hand. Here it is. So it feels insanely light, so when I start kind of blending it in. It does feel a lot much lighter than a standard foundation. Let's see, Did, is there any difference in my two hands now? Is there more of a glow on the other one? It has a scent to it. It's quite, uh, well, it's chanel -y. Um I think it's the same actually in the, as these powders. Let me just have, yeah, it's the same one. <laughs> And the brush just fell off. Anyways, because um, I use the Chanel Le Beige powders. I love, I love, love, love them. Um, and yeah, it's the same kind of scent. And lucky for me, because I do like the scent, but if you're very sensitive to scents, this is a product for sensitive skins, they say. But uh, if you're sensitive to scents, potentially not the product for you. Anyways, let's put some more out. And let's start trying it out. It feels very, very, very light on the skin. So this glides on almost like a gel cream. This is what it, that's what it feels like. So when I'm smoothing this on. If any of you use um, Clinique's All About Eyes, I love the way that product feels. I'm actually really in, back in love with it anyways. Oh, this is not about that. This feels kind of the same. So very kind of gel cream type feeling. Now, once it's sat on the skin a little bit, I can think it feels more 
like a cream, but immediately when it goes on, it feels more like a gel. Let's see. Now, the coverage is light. It's definitely giving me, definitely giving me a healthy glow, I would say. Coverage is light. I'm going to see how it takes to a little bit of layering. So I am just going to squeeze a bit more out. The layering part I am actually going to do with the brush because I often find that to be better. And I'm just going to put it here where I have some discoloration to see how well this product layers if I use a tiny bit more. Very well. My skin, I have to say, my skin right now is in pretty good shape. Um, so I don't need tons and tons of coverage right now. With an under eye concealer, uh, maybe a tiny bit of concealer just under my nose, I think I will be fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my under eye concealer. I am going to use the Bourjois CC eye cream and I'm gonna use my La Mer powder and I'm also going to use a little bit of Chanel um, Le Beige. And I'm gonna be back so that I can tell you what I think of the final final product it feels nice on the skin it feels insanely like i i can say that it has a there's a tiny like a moist feel to it now that i've put it on so it hasn't it's not one of those like the most recent one that chanel brought out that goes like almost powdery um this one feels very healthy on the skin so um i'm just gonna put on some powder under eye concealer and stuff and i'm gonna be right back I had to put a tiny bit of DR Addict Gloss in 257 as well. Anyways, so this is now the actual um, Healthy Glow Fluid with La Mer Powder. I just left the top open because I had a little bit left on top. <laughs> um, La Mer Powder and Chanel Le Beige Powder in 40 for bronzer. And actually I did use the tiniest bit of Chanel blush, uh, cream blush in revelation as well but that really was like just the tiniest i just felt like hmm, a little bit of color anyways um so it feels great on the skin my skin feels amazing now i am not going to have a chance to film tonight anymore but what i'm going to do is when i edit this tomorrow what i'm going to do is i'm going to just put a quick screen in between to let you know how well it wore throughout the day, but, um, you know, how much I had to powder. I've got combination skin. This is meant to be for all skin types, but we'll see. We'll see if it is. But so far, so good. I think, I'm trying to remember, because I just got like about 20 or 25% off uh, from Sephora because of, we don't have VIBs, but we've got different kinds of sales here in France. Uh, so I think this was originally 40 euros I would say on the Selfridges website it says it's 35 pounds in um, the UK so you know around that mark so it is it's not cheap um, depending on how well it delivers uh, it might be a great product anyways and I love the way it feels of the skin I haven't put any illuminating anything and I feel like it's not really it's not illuminating my skin but it is giving it a glow so I definitely like the way it's making my skin look. There is, right now, because my skin is quite good right now, there is a, an, like, enough coverage for me. Mostly, I just put a tiny bit under my nose. But uh, if you do want a lot of coverage, this might not be the product for you. But uh, as you can see, you can layer it, so. But yeah, by no means are you gonna build it up to medium to full coverage at all, which is obviously not the idea of the product anyways. So this was my quick first impression. If you've tried the product, please let me know what you think. And if you have any questions about it, you know, before you part with your cash, ask below and I shall do my very best to um, answer. I'm not a fountain of knowledge, but I can just give you my own experiences. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.